Hey y'all and welcome back. Today we're going to do something I've never done on this channel and something I don't do a lot of on the channel. We're cooking shrimp, but we're going to make bang bang shrimp. Uh, it's going to be delicious. I've had bang bang shrimp and I love it. I love it. I love it, but I've never made it. Well, we're going to change that today. Today is the day that's going to change. I went out to the grocery store and got some ingredients. As you see, it don't take a whole lot to make some delicious bang bang shrimp. Now, what you make this for is completely up to you. I mean, you know, there's tailgating, there's get togethers, there's Valentine's Day coming up. There's all kinds of reasons to make a simple dish like this that everybody would just go crazy over. And they're gonna be like, yeah, you made that? Did you really make that? And you'd be like, sure did. Can't tell me nothing. But just don't tell them how simple this is. That's the key, don't tell them how simple something like this is. So go on and fire up that Blackstone and get heating up because we're gonna start putting this stuff together. Once that griddle's hot, we're gonna start cooking. Let's go ahead and start coating this shrimp and getting it ready for the griddle. But one thing I forgot to show you is what I'm gonna use to kind of season the shrimp. And I'm using this island stir fry by Blackstone. Now normally, uh, from everything I've seen, you don't season the shrimp, but I'm going to, I think, and that little extra touch of flavor will really take it over the top. So what I'm gonna do, you just mix some of this island stir fry on this raw shrimp right here. Now this shrimp is large shrimp. It's peeled, deveined, and tail off. Uh, I just thawed it out, washed them up, did not dry them out because I want them to stay kind of moist so, so this cornstarch will stick. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Use, I've seen people use panko, uh, flour or whatever. I'm using straight cornstarch. That's what I'm gonna use today. We're just gonna get this uh, shrimp coated good. Let me just lay it over here on the cutting board here. Get some of the stuff out of the way here. And we'll just continue that until they're all good and coated. That simple. All the shrimp are coated and ready for the griddle, but griddle's not quite hot yet. It's not quite ready. So let's go ahead and mix up this bang bang sauce. Let's do that. Now, as far as the sauce goes, uh, I know what the measurements are supposed to be, but I'm not measuring nothing. I'm just gonna go kind of what I think. But I will tell you as I go along, we're looking for about a half a cup-ish of some mayonnaise. And of course, you know, you have to have Dukes. You just have to, I mean, if you're using anything else, is it really mayonnaise? I mean, really? Sweet Thai chili sauce. This is, I think the main ingredient, if I can get it to come out. Come on, there you go. So maybe that much, I don't even know how much that is. A couple of good tablespoons of it and some sriracha. Need some sriracha. Don't need a whole lot of it. You're just looking for just a little heat, maybe a teaspoon-ish. Just give it a good mix. What we're looking for is just a good color right now. It smells good, I know that. I really think a little more Thai chili is what is needed right here. Not quite what I'm looking for yet, so just a little bit more of that. That looks pretty good. So with that, sauce is ready. Shrimp's breaded. Let's go check on that griddle. I'm seeing that white smoke. That only means one thing. It's time to get some groceries on this griddle. Now what we're gonna do here is shallow fry. So you need to put down a good bit of oil. And it's really good if you can get your Blackstone level. As you see, mine's kind of running off to the back. That's okay. We're gonna work with that. Now give it just a minute for your oil to heat up before we start throwing that shrimp on there. And then once that oil's hot, let's start cooking. So we're gonna get this shrimp straight in that oil right there. And what we're gonna do is just let it cook on one side for just a minute or two. It won't take long at all. There we go, all the shrimp's on. But as you can see, it's kind of dry in some places, so come around here and just add some oil in between them and let them fry up. 
So like I said, just let them cook for about a minute or two on that side, then we'll just give them a flip. Shrimp does not take long at all. I love shallow frying on the Blackstone, and man, this shrimp on here, and you can already smell that island seasoning cooking. Just about time to flip. These things have been cooking for just a little bit, so let's go ahead and flip them now. Oh, I'm loving that color right there. That is beautiful. Just go through here and just each individual one, give them a flip. If you notice some are cooking faster than the others, just move them around. I mean, every griddle has a hot spot and cool spot, so if you need to move around, it's not a big deal. We still have a good bit of oil left everywhere, so we're good on that. Like these here, they seem to be cooking a little bit slower, so we'll move them up here. Last one. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna kind of bunch them up together and finish them up. So we'll let them finish on that side, then we're gonna take these things up and make some bang bang shrimp. So I'm gonna give you a close up view of this color and the way this shrimp is looking. Man, I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be hard not to eat these things like they are. It really is. They're looking good. And just like that, this shrimp is done and it's looking really good. So what we're gonna do is go straight into the bang bang sauce with it. Come in here and just start throwing the shrimp in there. I'm gonna try to mix all these in the same bowl, y'all. See how well that works out for me. I may have to bite the bullet and just eat some of them. Bowl ain't big enough. Yeah, sometimes you just have to do what you gotta do. I mean, just what is what it is. Y'all, my audio messed up on this clip, but that's okay. We're going to get through this now. So what you want to go ahead and do is just get your plate, put you down some of that fancy lettuce. Don't go get that iceberg. Get you some pretty lettuce. And once that lettuce is down, then you want to start putting some of that shrimp on there. That shrimp on that bed of lettuce is just going to make it say, wow, this dude not only makes amazing food, it looks pretty too. And once you get all that shrimp on that plate, Come in here with some chopped up green onions and just sprinkle it around the top. It ain't got to be all in one place. Just spread it around. Make it look pretty because pretty food does taste better. And once you get that done, now this is completely optional. If you like sesame seeds, use them. If not, that's fine. But I think it just looks better overall. This bang bang shrimp right here turned out amazing, y'all. I mean, look how good that looks. That bang bang sauce all over. You know that crispy shrimp is down in there. And green onions, a little sesame on top on this bed of lettuce. Yes, sir. Let me get a few glamour shots and we're going to try it out. And there you go. What do you think about that? Now, here's what you do. You grab you a bunch of toothpicks because, well, you got to be polite. I mean, you can't just dig your fingers in there, although you might want to. Grab you one up. Yeah. Never mind. Just take the whole plate for yourself. You'll be much happier that way. Man, okay, I'm gonna try to break this down for you. Other than, it's just amazing. The shrimp with that island stir fry and the crunchiness of that cornmeal, perfect by itself. I tried a piece earlier that was very hot, but man, the flavor was amazing. But then you add that layer of bang bang sauce on top of that, along with these little green onions and sesame seeds, and man, it just works perfectly together. I'm telling you, you better make a lot of these. And I mean a lot. If you make these for the missus for Valentine's Day, she's gonna take the whole plate. You won't get any. So make a bunch, fill her up, and then you can get what's left over. And I usually how it works, on Valentine's Day especially. If you make these for tailgating, don't invite nobody over because you want all these for yourself. I mean, that's just how it's gonna be. Either way, make a bunch of them. You won't regret it. You can thank me later. Super simple recipe, not a whole lot of ingredients, and that's the kind of stuff we try to do here because we have a big family and don't need a lot of ingredients, don't need a lot of meal prep. So make these, let me know how they turn out for you, and we'll see you next time. I gotta have another one. Mm, so good.